Welcome to our channel, your source for the latest EV news and analysis. In this hour's focus, we delve into the validation phase of Aptera's innovative solar electric vehicle, EV. But first, let's get started. In July of this year, Aptera, a pioneer in solar electric vehicles, embarked on the crucial validation of the distinctive turdruck shaped design for their upcoming EV in the Pin Arena wind tunnel. Since commencing this validation phase, more than 60% of the essential machinery and tools required for fabricating the vehicle's body structure have been crafted and integrated into the production process. Stamping dies and post-process tooling are among the integral components that will play a pivotal role in the forthcoming production. Pi Arena, where Aptera conducts additional testing and validation, employs coordinate measuring equipment to meticulously inspect for acceptable thickness and surface tolerance of the body. It's worth noting that the vehicle's body will be constructed from lightweight carbon material. Once the six key components are finalized and verified, a comprehensive structural tolerance test will be conducted, focusing on the body closures. Following the validation of Pi Builds, full-scale vehicle assembly will commence, with meticulous attention given to various critical components, including suspension, brake systems, airbag calibration, and software integration. Leaving us a like proves you like what we do here. Then be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to be notified of any recent video. Thank you. The subsequent phase in Aptera's validation process will pivot towards safety and crash testing. The EVs will undergo an array of in-depth tests, encompassing quality assurance, durability assessments, and fine-tuning. All this progress signifies a substantial step forward for Aptera, particularly considering their manufacturing partner, CPC Group in Italy, is actively producing and validating parts for Pi builds. Furthermore, Aptera is actively seeking out specialists for the procurement of equipment used in solar panel and battery production at their San Diego, California headquarters. This development heralds their resurgence, and after a relatively quiet summer, the company recently shared a comprehensive development update. Aptera's commitment to raising the necessary funds for the carbon body assembly process is evident. Their monthly updates, often featuring co-founder and CEO Chris Anthony, have become routine and they are inching closer to realizing their vision. In conjunction with acquiring more than 60% of the vital machinery and tools required for production, Aptera has commenced the production intent builds, which are integral to the solar EV validation process. These builds closely mirror the eventual consumer models and will undergo rigorous testing before transitioning to vehicle assembly at Aptera's new facility in the vicinity of San Diego. The next stage will involve the assembly and validation of all six body components into a full bin C, along with the integration of the front and rear subframes into the EV's structural battery pack. After this phase, safety and crash testing will be conducted, followed by fine-tuning and optimization to ensure passenger safety. While there isn't a set manufacturing date yet, Aptera's progress, fueled by investors and committed buyers who believe in their $110,000 solar EV, brings them closer to that reality. Notably, approximately 540 production slots for the launch edition are still available. Aptera's three-wheeler boasts impressive power, rivaling some sports cars, with a range of up to 1,000 miles in certain models. It's worth noting that Aptera is the first non-Tesla automaker to utilize Tesla's charge ports. Conventional charging is also an option, and the company has reported over 40,000 bookings. The DeVoot version of Aptera's three-wheeler will feature one engine per wheel, totaling 171 horsepower and a 42 kilowatt-hours battery pack, promising an estimated 400-mile range. Despite achieving substantial progress in securing equipment and tools for the EV's carbon fiber body shell, the actual delivery date remains uncertain. According to the EPA, tooling is already in use for component production, paving the way for testing and validation, encompassing suspension fine-tuning, software integration, powertrain durability and efficiency tests, and evaluation of the airbag and climate control system. 
Subsequently, the production line will undergo validation. Aptera's progress brings them closer to releasing their EV, and they have made tremendous strides towards a market debut. With their commitment to safety and cutting-edge technology, Aptera is shaping the future of electric vehicles. In other news, a groundbreaking report on autonomous vehicles has been jointly published by the self-driving car firm WH and the insurance-based company Swiss Re. This report stems from a research collaboration established between Swiss Re and WH last year, aimed at creating a baseline for evaluating autonomous vehicle technology. While public trust in self-driving cars is a work in progress, this report underscores the substantial reduction in property damage claims, from 3.26 claims per million miles to 0.78 claims per million miles achieved by autonomous vehicles. It's clear that autonomous technology is making remarkable strides in enhancing road safety and reducing accidents. Although there's still a long road ahead before self-driving cars gain the full trust of all segments of society, the data provided in this report underscores the substantial strides being made in autonomous technology. The significant reduction in property damage claims, from 3.26 claims per million miles to a mere 0.78 claims per million miles, is a testament to the potential of autonomous vehicles in enhancing road safety and reducing accidents. The data collected from the WH and Swiss Re Research collaboration is a promising sign of the potential of autonomous vehicles. It has the potential to reshape how we think about transportation and its safety. As autonomous technology continues to develop, there is an exciting future ahead for this industry. In the realm of electric vehicles, Aptera's progress is inspiring. Their commitment to innovation safety and sustainability places them on the cutting edge of EV development. As they continue to raise funds and move closer to their manufacturing goals, they represent a beacon of hope for a cleaner and more efficient automotive future. With an impressive range, power, and innovative features, Aptera's solar electric vehicle aims to set new standards in the industry. The integration of solar power and groundbreaking battery technology is not only sustainable but also incredibly practical, reducing the need for frequent charging and extending the vehicle's range. After its unique design and manufacturing process exemplify their forward-thinking approach, the utilization of cutting-edge materials, such as carbon fiber, ensures that the vehicle is not only lightweight but also sturdy and safe. With their ongoing validation process and meticulous attention to detail, it's clear that Aptera is poised to deliver a top-tier electric vehicle. While the exact manufacturing start date remains unknown, Aptera's determination and steady progress suggest that we may soon witness the emergence of a groundbreaking solar EV. With a growing base of investors and customers eagerly awaiting the launch, Aptera is well on its way to becoming a major player in the electric vehicle market. In conclusion, the future of transportation is undergoing a transformative shift with advancements in autonomous vehicles and solar electric technology. The collaboration between WH and Swiss re-demonstrates the potential for safer roads with autonomous vehicles, and Aptera's dedication to innovation offers a glimpse into a cleaner and more sustainable future. As these developments progress, we can expect exciting changes in the automotive industry, ushering in a new era of smarter, safer, and more eco-friendly transportation. And now let's hear from you in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's content, then leave us a like, subscribe and ensure the bell notification is on to be notified of our recent content. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. The report provides valuable data to compare the safety performance of autonomous vehicles with traditional human-driven vehicles. The findings reveal that, overall, autonomous vehicles outperform human drivers. Based on third-party liability insurance claims data, the human driver baseline stands at 1.11 claims per million miles, while the WH autonomous driver boasts no bodily injury claims in over 3.8 million miles of driving without human intervention.